My name's Rich Harrington, and today we're going to tackle a tough topic that often hangs people up, and that is what to do about overly saturated colors like red when it comes to being in the broadcast safe space. We're going to go ahead and make a quick adjustment here, and I'll show you how easy it is to target these colors. Let's see how. I've opened up an image here that has a lot of very rich, intense reds in it, and by default, these reds are probably too saturated for the broadcasting environment. An easy way to check is to go ahead and duplicate this layer and run the NTSC color filter, filter video NTSC colors. Now, if you notice there, we had a slight change up here in parts of the image. And if we zoom in really close, you'll see that it produced some very nasty posterization. That's because the NTSC color filter has no tolerance or fall off. So when it encounters non-safe colors, it hard clamps them. And it often produces ugly banding or noise in the transition zone. If you want to see this even better, you could set that top copy to difference mode and see the difference between the two images. Now, if we look really close here, by adding a levels adjustment, you'll more easily see where it did the fixes. And it's in these areas that the image is not broadcast safe. What I'd like to do is push this by making the images as saturated as possible and then back them back down to a broadcast safe level. Let's go ahead and click cancel here. And we'll toss away this top layer for now. And I'll duplicate this one more time and in this case, we're going to call this saturated. And we'll add a hue saturation adjustment layer. But before doing that, I want to target the reds. So we'll choose select color range. And I'll tell it to select all the reds in the image and click OK. Notice it does a fairly accurate selection. And we'll just go ahead and choose select modify feather to soften this out a bit. With that selection, we can add the hue saturation adjustment layer. And this will allow us to pop the saturation in the red areas as needed to bring those up. Now, we're getting a few problems down here. So in that case, you might choose to paint on this a little bit or blur it a bit. And we could do that by just simply blurring the mask so it's less intense. And you can always paint that out by painting right on the mask here. So it doesn't go after that area. That works pretty well. You can, of course, just do a global select color range and click and drag through your image here to make a selection, soften it to taste, and add the hue saturation adjustment layer that way and accomplish similar results where you push the saturation in the image and even can go after and tweak the hue a bit. So what you see there is we've definitely pumped up the saturation in the image, pushing it towards a very intense red. And at any point in time, you can always paint on those layers to tweak what's happening with the mask. Okay, that's doing pretty well there, but let's go ahead and make sure this is broadcast legal. The way to do that is to go ahead and open up the actions palette and make sure you have the video actions loaded. The video actions were something that I wrote along with Daniel Brown, and they're included with Photoshop CS2 and CS3. There is a broadcast safe saturation action that will solve this problem. With that loaded here, let's just go ahead and select the video actions and we'll choose Broadcast Safe Saturation and click Play. What this does is makes a new merged copy, runs the NTSC Colors Filter to target the problem areas, and then blurs it out and creates a soft, gentle selection that's applied to an adjustment layer. 
Let's click OK. You see what it's doing here is a series of automated steps, and the end result is you will get an adjustment layer. Now it warns you and says if the layer contains a completely empty frame here, that is to say it's filled with white, then the adjustment layer wasn't needed. But we see on this adjustment layer that it indeed has some white and black in it, so it is doing something. We can go ahead and select that there and run a levels adjustment as needed to open and adjust that masked area. As we open that up, it'll affect a broader area. And as always, you could double click and pull that saturation down manually. There you go. So, the advantage of what we just showed you there is we harness the power of the color range command to target the saturated areas and push them to the limit. Then, using the broadcast safe saturation action, we're able to select just the problem areas, create a gentle selection, and use the non-destructive hue saturation adjustment layer to tone those down back into the broadcast safe range. A lot of the most powerful commands in Photoshop require this give and take dance as you add and subtract to get to the desired results. Remember, pros don't usually try to make a masterpiece with one strike of the hammer and chisel. For Photoshop for Video, I'm Rich Harrington. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And be sure to check out photoshopforvideo.com where you can find out more about our book as well as the several training resources we have on that website.